Alright guys, in this video I want to go over the particles emitter inside of Blender. So to get started, I'm going to go up to Add, Mesh. I'm going to choose a plane. You can use pretty much whichever uh, primitive that you want to use. I'm going to move this up a little bit. I'm going to scale it up a little. Alright, this is going to be emitting the particles. So I'm going to make sure it's selected. I'm going to go over to the right side of my screen over here. Look for the Particles tab. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to press this plus button here to add a particle system. And there's about five things that I want to go over here. The first of which is going to be emission numbers. It's set to 1,000, so that's going to emit 1,000 particles. If I hit play, you're going to see that it's not too many particles being emitted right now. If I press pause and rewind, change the number to about 10,000. I hit rewind, hit play. Now you see that there's a lot more particles being emitted from the plane. Second thing I want to go over is the start and end frame. So your start frame will be the frame at which the particle emitter begins to emit. The end frame will be when it stops emitting particles. So if I set the end frame to say 15, I hit re rewind, I hit play, we'll see 15 frames worth of particles from this plane. After 15 frames, it completely stops emitting those particles. All right, I'm going to turn this back to 250, so I, so I have about 250 frames of emission coming from the plane. All right, next thing that I want to go over is the lifetime. It's set to 50 frames. If I were to set this to 10 frames, after 10 frames, the particles are going to die. So they won't make it very far. If I hit play, you'll see that. They don't make it very far. If I set this to, say, 25, these particles don't make it very far either. So at 25 frames, they'll die off. The fourth thing I want to go over is how do we emit an object instead of points from our emitter. So to do that, I'm going to go up to Add, Mesh, and I'm going to use a UV sphere. You can use pretty much whatever you want. And I'm going to change the name on this sphere. It doesn't really matter what the name of it is, but I'm just going to name it Example. Alright, so what we need to do is just make sure our object is in our scene select the plane or the emitter go under the particles tab and look for when you scroll down here under render look for object press that duplicate object click on this then we're going to use the example what that's going to do is use this geometry has our particles instead of those little points so now when I hit play, you'll see that we're emitting these spheres. And the next thing I want to go over is how do we change the material on our uh, particles here. So I'm going to select the sphere. I'm going to go under the materials tab, create a new material, change the material, and you'll see immediately that the material on our particles changes. And this is also renderable if I render it. All right. So that's a pretty quick look at the particles emitter inside of Blender. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, comment, and thumbs up this video.